station performing stars and the many blessings that it's given to the children of our community for 25 years. Children's program is marking 25 years of service this year, helping some of the most impoverished children in the Bay Area achieve their full potential. Yeah, that's right. It's called Performing Stars of Marin. And tonight, ABC 7 News anchor Cheryl Jennings looks at the program in Marin City. <laughs> Did not treat you.
program is marking 25 years of service this year, helping some of the most impoverished children in the Bay Area achieve their full potential. Yeah, that's right. It's called Performing Stars of Marin. And tonight, ABC 7 News anchor Cheryl Jennings looks at the program in Marin City. These precious little dancers learned some confidence at an early age from the enrichment program in Marin City in one of the most economically deprived communities in wealthy Marin County. The kids are among hundreds of children who grew up to go on to success in different fields, thanks to performing stars of Marin and its founder, Felicia Gaston. She started it as a volunteer when she was in college 25 years ago. Starting with a zero budget, a dream, a vision, an idea, hard work, lots of supportive people. This organization would not have existed at all if it wasn't for the many organizations that provide the scholarships, the funding sources that provide all of the dollars that make it happen. The video being prepared for the 25th anniversary gala is being produced by a former performing stars dancer. That's Jeanette Higginoff on the far right. I remember ballet, and I also remember Felicia kept the camera around too, and music. Jeanette's sister and brother were also a part of Performing Stars. I work as a video producer. Uh, my sister coaches at Marine Catholic High School as a basketball coach, and my brother is a truck driver for UPS. So everybody did well? Yes. Jeanette is now directing a scripted TV series pilot project that she'll pitch to executives. Of course, I was John Lamb, who's at the Boston Ballet, and Linda Still, who went on and graduated from Marin Ballet. Performing Stars is based in a public housing unit right in the heart of Marin City with a beautifully maintained garden to welcome the children. Felicia's motto is to make it happen. And that takes money and people who care, like Tom Peters, executive director of the Marin Community Foundation. A number of the families that make up the totality of the Marin Community Foundation have joined together over a lot of years, more than two decades, to support Felicia, support the Performing Stars uh, with money, but also with encouragement and appreciation. It's just the crown jewel of Southern Marin. Mike Daly is the chief probation officer for Marin County and sees the young people who get into trouble. Felicia, Mike, and community partners created the Phoenix Project to get young people out of the criminal justice system. Because we believe in prevention, simply put. Whether it's simply helping somebody obtain a identification card or a driver's license, or to helping them enroll in college. Felicia's been there for those children. And Felicia created the Enlighten event to match young Marin City girls with mentors in the professional world. Right. Performing Star's goal is working to break the cycle of poverty. There's so much history here with the families who came to work here during the shipyard days. And so you have generations of families. Of course, we have new families who have moved here, but the, the general is that there are at least six generations of families from World War II. And these are the people who came to say, we came to stay, and it was hard for them to move out because who would want to rent or sell to the black families? Felicia compiled a book of Performing Stars graduates, success stories, all from humble beginnings. Performing Stars is so beloved that world-famous musicians and rock and roll stars donated items for the Gales auction. So this is the guitar, um, and it's signed by the Doobie Brothers. 25 years of success with big plans to make it happen in the future. When I see all these success stories, then I know that this, this journey has been, why it's been important. All um, worthwhile. Cheryl Jennings, ABC 7 News. So you can see all the people who are in this room are all now supporters of performing stars. We just can't thank you enough. It's just wonderful. Mike Daly, by the way, was here earlier for the cocktail hour with his wife Peggy. So you know what's so nice is that people show up and we keep showing up for performing stars. And that, that means a lot to the kids who are involved in the program. Before we go to eat, uh, continue. I want to just remind you that our live auction item is going to take place after we hear from our beloved Felicia. But I want to also let you know that part of that package, in addition to the guitar, is includes two tickets to their upcoming concert. Yeah. Yeah. So at the Miracle Wine, and you also get wine from the Miracle Wine.
So with that, I think Jeanette, you've got a video that you produced about smoking kids over a span of time. And those of you who have grown up with the program are going to see yourselves as little kids enjoy that. And those of you who were their mentors, and their parents, and their grandparents, thank you all for taking care of our kids. And so enjoy Jeanette's video. She produced this. It took her a long time. Thank you, Jeanette.